Hello YouTube, it's time to continue with the 6040 project. Um, this uh, 6040 project has basically been standing still. I've spent much time to renovate our family's summer house, but now I have some time to continue with the project. So I picked up some uh, stainless steel sheets because it's nice and um, the plan is to cover the table here with stainless steel at first and then have a piece of uh, sheet on the sides here as well uh, and a larger piece on the back here and um, then I will have to make some opening mechanism so that one can open it up and work here on the side um yeah enough with uh, talking i think i don't really have uh, any good tools uh, to cut this stainless steel sheet but um, i will go for this one this is the best that i got i tested to cut a small piece uh, last night and it took some time but it seems to work okay and be pretty straight so yeah Enough talking, let's go. Quite early in the morning, so pretty noisy. I guess that our neighbors ain't super happy, but uh, yeah, it turned out to be pretty straight. It cuts the stainless steel like butter almost, but uh, I went uh, fairly slow to to be sure to get it uh, straight. Okay, so I have now peeled off some of the protective film here and we can see that I made some scratches with the jigsaw, I think it's called jigsaw. So that wasn't too clever of me but I never worked with uh, these type of sheets. I thought that this uh, protective um, film would be enough but uh, I get Yes, it's my mistake, so the next one I will uh, saw with this plastic film turned down instead. Okay, you learn as long as you live. Okay, so I've now cut sheet number two, so as you can see I've wrecked this side, but I think that this side will be down towards the table, so it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, so let's take a look and see how the how it looks under the protective film. When I cut. Okay, so there we go. Just some marks here from my WD-40 drained gloves. But uh, other than that, I'm very happy with this cut here with the jigsaw. This one is super good actually i've used it perhaps 100 to 200 hours at least but yeah small miss happening here at the end it got a bit bent but uh, i'm okay with that okay so i skipped some of the uh, cutting of the 2020 aluminium profiles but um, yeah I have now placed the two stainless uh, steel sheets that I cut on the table and it looks really good. You can see the joint here right in the middle and uh, of course it would have been nice to get a stainless steel sheet cut to size but uh, 
my local hardware store didn't um, sell any stainless steel sheets so I had to order these type of uh, standard dimension and uh, cut them myself to save some money um, to mount uh, the 2020 aluminium profiles together I used this type of very clever and um, nice type of joint or connector what it's called bought it from some guy on eBay he shipped them from Cyprus and I really recommend these ones um, they look good and um, make the process uh, of connecting or building the 2020 profiles together very fun and easy and well now I think I have to disconnect all the cables and hoses and stuff like that but um, well it's some pain to do it but uh, I bought this uh, crimp tool set that I planned to use on the um, ends here of the cables to isolate them a bit better and uh, get a bit cleaner look so uh, I would um, anyways have uh, had to disconnect the cables and stuff like that.